Hello kids. Good day to you all. I hope you are all doing well. You are welcome back to Victory Land Virtual Clouds, okay? And today we have science. And as you know, I am Auntie Ruth. And I'll be your science facilitator for today's lesson, okay? Alright. And our strand is living things and non-living things. Living things and non-living things. And our star strand is materials. Materials. Our star strand is what? Materials. Good. So let's take our learning objectives. Let's take our learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to. One, identify and name a variety of materials in the community. I'm going to identify and name a variety of materials in the community. I hope you can do that. Two, describe and group materials by their appearance. I'm going to describe them and group them by their appearance. All right, so let's focus on what we are coming to do. Sit upright and pay attentive, okay? Pay attention, okay? Good. All right. So, what are materials? What then are materials? Do you have anything in mind? Can, or can you mention some materials in your environment? Yes. All right, be thinking about it. Definition of materials. Materials are things we see in the environment. That is it. Materials are what? Things that we see in the environment. And what are some of these things that we see in our environment? What are some of these things that we see in our environment? Can you mention some of them? We have what? Booths, tables, chairs, trees. Good. So you can mention them, right? So let's go to our next slide. To see some examples. All right, so these are examples of what? Materials. We have book. Book. We have stone. Can you come out and then pick a stone? Yes, you can. We have stones in our environment. Plastic. Our plastic bottles. What you have been using to do what? To drink. Uh, what? A juice, whether your Fanta bottle, the Sobolo bottle, all is plastic, okay? You have plastic chair, plastic table. Good. All those things fall under plastic. And the next one is what? Metal. Metal. Have you ever seen a metal before? Yes. A metal chair. The spoon that we used to eat. We have a metal spoon, that is the cutlery set. And we have a plastic spoon as well, but we are talking about a metal spoon, okay? All right, these are my example. Tap, where water flow through. We have soil, textiles, and glasses. All these things are examples of food, materials. All these things fall under examples of what? Materials. So we are going to take them one after the other to know what each of them is. So the first one is metal. What is a metal? Do you have anything in mind? As you can see it on the screen. Good. A metal is a solid material which is hard, shiny, and can conduct heat and electricity. 
I said it again. A metal is a solid material which is hard, shiny, and can conduct heat and electricity. Okay? It's hard, shiny, and can conduct heat and electricity. Good. So do you know any metal? Can you mention some metal in your environment or metals that you use in your various homes that conduct heat and electricity? Alright. Alright. So we have here cutlery. Examples of metals. Cutlery. We have spoon, fork, and a knife. Spoon, fork, and a knife. The second one is what? Kids. Kids. Okay. So, can you take the fork? I know you have a fork or a spoon in your house. You can put it inside fire and take it. You can't hold it. It will be very hot. So, it's conduct what? Heat. Good. Kids. Kids are used to open our doors. Either a cast. Good. So they are all metals, okay? Another example. Another example. All right. So the third example that we have here is what? Frying pan. Frying pan. Can you tell me the uses of a frying pan? What do you use frying pan for? We all have it in our various homes, right? Eat for what? Frying egg. When we want to eat what? Bread and egg. Sometimes it's a toasted bread and egg. This is what you used to do it. This is what mommy I'll be using to do it for you. Okay? Good. The next one is what? Coal pot. Coal pot. You set fire in what? The coal pot. Then you put your frying pan on it. And we start cooking. Are you okay? Yes. So let's continue. We have here the saucepan. This is the saucepan I was talking about. You can put it on fire. It also conducts what heat. All right. So this is a metal saucepan, and we have here a metal cup. How have you seen this cup before? Yes. It's very nice when you drink water in it. Try it one time. The next one we are going to talk about is what wood. Wood. We want to know the uses of wood, what use, what we use wood for, yes, and then the meaning of wood. Okay, can you mention some? Yes, what do we use wood for? For writing. Hmm? We use something to write. So pencil. And we write on what? A table. And the, the table is made up of what? A wood. All right. So a wood is a hard solid material from the trunk and branches of a tree. A wood is a hard solid material from the trunk and branches of a tree. So uses of woods. Uses of woods. One, tables and chairs, as I said. Table and chairs. We sit on wooden chairs and we eat on wooden tables. That is what you can see. I hope you have seen it before. In our classrooms, our desks that you have been sitting on it, it's all made up of what? Wood. The second one we have here is what? Pencil. We have a bundle of pencil here. It is made up of what? Wood. And a cupboard. You can see a nice cupboard with things packed in it. I hope you can see that. Yes, it is made up of what? Wood. So all these things falls under what? Wood. All these things falls under wood. Good. Chalkboard. Chalkboard. A chalkboard we see in our classroom. In a reformer board. They are all made up of what? Wood. 
They are made up of words. Good. Good. So let's go to the next one. That is plastics. Plastic. A plastic bowl. A plastic cup. A plastic bucket. We use the cup for what? drinking. In a tea. Yes, you pour your juice into it and then you sip it. The bowl, some of the cocoa salads have been using it. And we bath with our bucket. We fetch a bucket of water to our washroom and then bath. How are we are following? So can we continue? All right, can you mention more examples of plastics? Yes, can you mention more examples? Let's go to our next slide. All right, so what is a plastic? As we saw it in our previous slide, a plastic is a solid material that can be molded into different shapes while soft or when it is exposed to fire. Have you ever melted a bowl before? In case maybe you were holding it and you got to where a fire is and you mistakenly placed it on a fire, what happened to it? It got burnt. Yes. So plastic comes in different sizes, colors, and shapes. Plastics comes in different sizes, colors, and shapes. So these are some of the uses of plastics. The first one was the first object. This is what a chair, right? A plastic chair. And then the next one is what? A table. It's very nice. Okay, three. We have bottles. A cold bottle, you can see a Pepsi bottle, you can see plastic cups there, you can take any of the drink and then pour it into the drink. It's free, okay? <laughs> yes, that's just by the way. And we have what? Fanta, Sprite, and Cova. All these things are plastic bottles. We have a plastic basket for serving. Sometimes we have a basket that we take it to the market. My mommy is going to the market to see her holding a plastic basket. Yes, it's made up of what? Plastic. Straws. Straws. Have you ever used straw to take a drink before? Yes, this is straw. It's made up of what? Plastic. It is made up of what? Plastic. Can you continue? It's such nice. It's very nice, okay? Good. So soil, that's the next thing. A soil is a material consisting of a mixture of organic materials, clay and rock particles. A soil is a material consisting of a mixture of organic materials, clay and rock Particles. Is that clear? And the soil is basically used as a medium for plant growth. Yes. It's basically used as a medium of what? For growth. Soil is also a home to many small animals. It's also a home for many small animals. Like ants, you have been seeing them in the soil. Good. Our next slide, example of soil. What is it used for? Yes, we have here a well bowl. What is it used for? For mashing our what? Vegetables. Or grinding pepper, onion, ginger and garlic, and so on. Okay? So this is an edible bowl. It's also made up or made from soil. And we have a cup or a jar made up with what? Soil. I hope you've seen it before. Pots. Pots. We have a pot here that is also made 
from soil. The next one you're going to look at is glass. Glass. A glass is a solid material that is usually transparent, which means you can see through. This transparent and you can see through. Okay? What are some of the examples? Yes. We have here a cap, a glass cap. I hope you have seen it before. A glass cap and a glass bowl. Good. So that is the examples of what glass. Maybe you, have, you can get a glass bottle as well, okay? A glass table. Yes. We are coming to the next one is textiles. Textiles. A textile is a flexible solid material that is formed by weaving, knitting, knotting, or tatting. We will look at all this. So on the screen you can see some textiles. That is what we call cloth. I hope you've seen it before. Yes. So these are some examples of Textiles. We have cloth for making dress. Very nice. Curtains to decorate our rooms, windows, and doors. Bag. All these things are made up from what? Textiles. Okay? They are made from textiles. And paper. Paper is a thin sheet material from wood. Paper is made from where? Wood. Paper is made from wood. Bear it in mind. Paper is made from wood. Paper is used for printing, wrapping of materials, writing, drawing, and packaging. We use paper for printing our test papers or exam questions, wrapping of materials. Sometimes when you go out to buy words, Roasted plantain. Normally they put it inside the paper and they wrap it for you. Or wrapping of gifts. Writing. We write on papers. That is what they used to do the book for us. Draw. We draw on a plain sheet. And packaging. Packaging they have. It's like a bag. Okay. So let's go to our next slide to see our example. Good. Examples. We have paper bag. Have you seen it before? Yes, and this is what? A newspaper. So this is all what we did today. Materials. Materials. Good. I hope you learned something today. We, talk, we spoke about what? Textiles, wood, yes, metal, plastic bottles, and other stuff. Good. I wish you all the best. So let's take our pencil and exercise. With what do we have next? Stone. Stone. A stone is a hard solid material found in or on the ground and often used for building. We use stones for building, right? Yes. And big stones are called rock. Clay. Good. So evaluation. Evaluation. This is what I'm going to do. Use the following to fill in the empty spaces to make the statement complete. Use the following to fill in the empty spaces to make the statement complete. Okay? Good. So we have wood, plastic, paper, soil, and metal. We have words, plastic, wood, paper, soil, and metal to fill in the spaces. Okay. I hope you are following. A, number one. A dash is a hard, solid, shining material that conducts heat and electricity. So you provide the answer. A dash is a hard, shining material that conducts heat and electricity. Good. Two. A dash is, is a dark brown material consisting of organic materials 
clay and rock particles. A dash is a dark brown material consisting of organic materials, clay and rock particles. What is that? Okay, three. A dash is a solid material that can be molded into different shapes when soft or exposed to fire. A dash is a solid material that can be molded into different shapes when soft or exposed to fire. We provide the answer. Four. A dash is a hard solid material obtained from the trunk and branches of trees. A dash is a hard solid material obtained from the trunk and branches of trees. Is that clear? Good. Five. A dash is a solid material found in or on the ground. A dash is a solid material found in or on the ground. I hope you've got everything correct. So today what we learned was what? Materials, okay? Good. So I wish you all the best. Take your time, pause the video, and write the questions and answer before you continue. Take your time to write very well, okay? I wish you all the best and see you in our next lesson. Bye.